Today we're learning how to identify fractions in groups of objects. Let's say I have this bag of marbles and I dumped it out on a table. I want to figure out what fraction of these marbles are blue. Let's remember that there are two parts to a fraction. The numerator tells us how many pieces we have. Because we're looking for blue marbles, that means our numerator is the number of blue marbles. We can count that we have one, two, three blue marbles, so our numerator is three. Next, the denominator represents the total number of pieces in the whole, which here means the total number of marbles in our bag. We can count that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight marbles in total, so the denominator is eight. We can now say that three eighths of the marbles are blue. Now let's look at one of these together. Here's a pack of cupcakes. Some of the cupcakes are vanilla, and others are chocolate. We want to know what fraction of the cupcakes are chocolate. Well, if I'm looking for the fraction of cupcakes that are chocolate, I can start by counting up the number of chocolate cupcakes. How many chocolate cupcakes are there? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chocolate cupcakes. Where should this number seven go? The number of chocolate cupcakes is the numerator of the fraction, so 7 goes on top of the fraction. Now to find the denominator, we need to count up the total number of objects. How many cupcakes are there in total? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cupcakes, so the denominator of the fraction is 10. That means 7 tenths of the cupcakes are chocolate. Here's another problem to practice with. Some students were asked what their favorite sport was. These were their responses. What fraction of the students said soccer was their favorite sport? Let's solve this one piece by piece. What should the numerator of this fraction be? Because we're looking for the fraction of students that said soccer was their favorite, the numerator will be the number of students that said their favorite sport is soccer. We can count that one, two, Three students said soccer was their favorite, so our numerator is three. Next, what should the denominator of this fraction be? The denominator will be the total number of students, which here is one, two, three, four, five. The denominator is five, and so we can say three-fifths of the students said soccer was their favorite sport. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What fraction of these triangles are blue? The numerator will be the number of blue triangles. We can count that there's one, two, three, four blue triangles. So our numerator is four. The denominator will be the total number of triangles. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So the denominator of this fraction is six. Four sixths of these triangles are blue. Now here's your last problem for this video. Some students were asked what their favorite meal of the day was. These were their responses. What fraction of the students said breakfast was their favorite meal? The numerator is the number of students that picked breakfast as their favorite. We can see that three students picked breakfast as their favorite, so our numerator is three. The denominator will be the total number of students. We can count eight total students, so our denominator is eight. Three-eighths of the students said breakfast was their favorite meal. Now you know how to identify a fraction of a group. Great job!